hello students let's understand the different types of financial market financial market can be broadly categorized four segment that is a security market derivative market commodity market foreign exchange market in security market it can be further classified into capital market and money market capital market and money market in depending on the maturity of the financial investment so now let's understand the capital market or topic for the day so what is the capital market capital market can be defined as a market for borrowing and lending of long term capital funds required by business enterprises first we should know what is the long term capital basically in security market so we are dealing with particular investment where maturity is more than 365 days or more than 1 year so it could be 15 years 10 years or 5 years so any asset which has the value more than 1 year will come under the capital market so capital market is market where buyer and seller trade a financial security like a bonds and stock so this is a financial security so they are buying and selling okay it's a called a capital market it should be the more than one year so that is a capital market so first we should understand what is the security so what is the security so security like a bonds or stocks so that is a sas or depenses it's another name sas or depenses so first we are going to see what is a sas so here in this example mr x started a company that's a name is a abc abc private limited so mr x invested his own amount so that is a 50 lakhs he invested and started his business but he need more amount that is a 40 lakhs he need for his business but he don't have money but he decided to get from the peoples from the public so he divided this amount like a 10 rupees so 40 lakhs divided by 10 so totally 4 lakhs of sas so from the 4 lakhs people he going to get the amount there is a 10 amount this is a small unit of amount no it's a called a sas it's a sas so the people invested their savings money to the company invested to their savings money to the company so it's a called a sas okay so they are called a shareholder they called a shareholder this is a sas the sas also classified it to that is a equity sas and preferred sas so here in this another one example mr x bought a equity sas and mr y bought a preferences so what is the difference between them equity sas and preferences so preference shareholders going to get the rate of inter- dividend is a fixed the rate of dividend is a fixed so what is the dividend dividend so dividend like a interest because mr y invests his money to the particular company so what that benefit is a dividend so every year the company give a dividend to the mr y so that a dividend amount is a fixed in this side mr x actually bought a equity shares so he, in his dividend depend upon the profit the profit may be increase or decrease it's depend upon that one okay so the profit will increase means the dividend also increased the profit will less means the dividend also decreased okay so that is a different of equity shareholders and preference shareholders okay and depenses so what is the depenses the same example the company instead of the sas he going to get the loan from the people so borrowing from the people so for that they provide one document the the company provide a document to the particular uh, dependents holders so here they are called a dependents holders okay so the company borrow amount from the 
or get the loan from the public okay so for that they provide one document it's called a defenses okay so what is a capital market capital market where buyer and seller in trade a financial security so security means like a sirs or defenses okay so it's called a capital market so capital market it consists of series of channel through which sharing of the community or that available for industrial and commercial enterprises for for the public general actually the public or people they save their money and they invested it to the particular company so the company used their savings money for their business so that is the industrial and the commercial enterprises it's called a capital market so one person the famous personality give a definition so his name is a arun k tata so capital market may be defined as a complex of institutions investment and properties with established link between the demand for and supply of different types of capital gain so this is a capital market so now we are going to discuss about characteristics of capital market or nature of the capital market so these are the characteristics of capital market security market price participants location market for financial assets so let's we are going to see securities markets so already we discussed no what is a security security is like a sas or defenses so the dealing in a capital market are done through the security like a sas or defenses okay so it's called a security market so in in the market in the capital market they are sell their sas and defenses to the public so it's called a security market and next characteristics price so the price depend upon the demand and supply so what is the demand and supply so the particular company sales will be demand so it will be increase mean the price also will be increased so the more supply so that means the price will be decreased it's so depend upon the demand and supply the price will be increased or decreased the price of the security it determined based on the demand and supply so that is the capital market for securities and participant so who and all participate in the capital market individuals corporate sectors government banks and other financial institution also participate in the capital market and next characteristics is yeah location so it's don't have any special location but center location certain the well known that is a yeah, stock exchange so about the stock exchange so the coming class we can discuss in the detailed okay the next class we can detailly discuss about the stock exchanges what is a stock exchanges so in this uh, location location is here yeah, it's don't have any separate location so particularly they are using in the stock exchanges and the market for financial asset so what is a financial asset financial asset actually cash for the public also they invest their amount so the financial asset so the capital market provide a transaction platform for a long term capital the public also invest their savings amount so the long term capital they can invested uh, for the company side also they can collect from the public long term financial asset for the uh, company also so these are the characteristics of the capital market is the first one security market here they are deal with the they are deal with sas and defenses the price and it's depend on the demand and supply and the participant the whole all participate in the capital market individual corporate sectors government banks and other financial institution and location it don't have any uh, specified location but mostly they are using in the stock exchanges it market for uh, financial asset so here we can collect the financial asset from the public and the public also invest their uh, uh, same amount to the uh, 
between a capital market so these are the uh, characteristics of the capital market and here kinds of capital market and capital market divided to two category one is a primary market and secondary market so primary market is a market for a new issues or new financial client so first time the company issue the sas first time the company collect amount from the public it's a called a primary market okay it's called a another name that is a new issue market new issue market so primary market means the first time company collect a amount from the people the first time sell his product sell his sas to the public it's a called a primary market so it's a new issue market so there are three ways by which a company may raise a capital in the primary market that is a public issue right issue and a private placement so what is that we are going to see so public issue it's a common method is going to collect from the public so they are sell their securities securities like a saas and dependencies through that they are collect the money from the public so that is a public issue they are sell their saas to the public and right issues so what is the right issues so existing company so existing company means so already they run their uh, business already they sell their saas to the public that is a existing company so existing company want to raise additional capital they want to extend their business so they need some capital they need some amount so they are going to raise additional capital so they are going to offer the existing shareholder what is the shareholder so who and all purchased a share in the particular company they are the shareholder so for them existing for the existing shareholder they are giving the some offer to raise their additional capital that is a right issue so what is the right issue the existing company want to raise their additional capital so for they are giving the offer for the existing shareholder that is a right issue and a private placement private placement is a way of selling security privately to small group of investors so they not in uh, collect amount from the public so instead of they have to choose the particular investors for, for them only they are sell their saas it's a called a yeah, private placement what is a private placement they not sell their product to the public instead of they have to select a particular investor for them only they are sell their product this is a yeah, private placement so what is the Uh, primary market the first time company sell their product to the sorry not a product uh, sell their saas to the public it's a called a primary market or new issue market in three way they are collect raise their money so what is a public issue right issue private placement what is a public issue so sell their security to the public security means saas or dependencies so right issue means existing company raise additional capital uh, but offered only for the existing shareholders and a private placement means not for the public uh, to choose the particular investors alone okay so this is a primary market and second thing secondary market so what is the secondary market so secondary market can be defined the market for old securities in the sense that security which are previously issued in the primary market or traded share so through this picture you can easily identify what is a primary and secondary market so here xyz actually this is one of the company they are first time sell their shares to the uh, investor a not only a many people they are purchased from the xy ez okay so the first time the company sell their shares to the investor it's a called a primary so after 2 years investor need uh, the particular investor a need money so this time investor a sell his share not his share that particular xy ez company shares 
to sell the investor B. So now it's called a secondary market. Okay. So the first time company sell his share to investor A, it's a primary market. So next investor needed their money means they are sell to next person, the many investor B, C, D, any person. So it's called a secondary market. Okay. So primary market means a new issue market. The second sale it's called a secondary market. So it's previously issued by in the primary market. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about the foreign exchange market. Okay. So already the first I told you know the financial uh, so four segments uh, what are the four segments uh, of the financial market security market derivative market commodity market foreign exchange market in security market class by two things what are the things uh, can you remember so that is a yeah, capital market and the money market capital market alone we discussed the money market we discussed on the next lesson and the remaining three segments are the uh, derivative market, commodity market and foreign exchange market. Now we are going to discuss about the foreign exchange market. So here the company want to introduce their global investment from the uh, other country people. From other country they want to collect money. Okay. So in Indian company, maybe the IT company or any company. So they get uh, they get fund from the US, UK, Singapore or any part of the world. Now each of them will come the different currency. To each country they have followed the different types of the currency. So now we need to put one common currency that is the yeah, Indian currency. So here they are using the foreign exchange market. Okay, from different country they are going to collect their fund. Okay. So all the currency converted to the Indian currency, it's called the foreign exchange market. So the foreign exchange market about the foreign exchange trading, it includes all the currency in the world and any individual, the company or country can participate in it. Okay, there is a foreign exchange market. And commodity, commodity market. So commodity means so we are using some thing, things no suppose the people are buying the cold continuously and then we are using to uh, the people are purchasing a more gold in depend on that it the price will be increased okay so in other days the gold rate will be reduced so depend on the commodity the price will be increased or decreased okay that is a commodity market so commodity market class by two things one is a hot commodity and a soft commodity the hot commodity gold oil rubber iron and ore and soft commodity wheat cotton coffee and sugar okay so what is a commodity market the commodity market manages the trading in a primary product which take a place about 50 major commodity market where financial transaction increasingly outstrip physical purchases which are to be delivered so the, the people going to purchase many times the number of times so the price it will be increased the purchase purchasing capacity will be reduced means the price will be decreased this is a commodity market and derivative market so what is the derivative market so here we do not deal the price of the asset for the current duration they not discuss about the current price okay so but the deal with the prices of the asset in the future the future what is the price so like that they will be derivative market they are discussing about the derivative market so what is the derivative market here they not do do not deal the prices of the asset for the current duration but they deal with the prices of the asset in the Futures. That is a derivative market. It's like a speculation. In the future, what going to happen? So, like that, they have to choose it. That is a derivative market. So, derivative market facility the trading in financial instruments such as the future contract. In the future, what's going to happen? So, like that, they will be derivative. That is a derivative market. Okay. So, this is a <clears throat> different types of the financial market. So, totally 
four, seg uh, four segments are the security market, derivative market, commodity market, foreign exchange market. So security market also classified two things, capital market and money market. Capital market we discussed in this class. So in the next class, we are going to discuss about the money market and derivative market, commodity market and foreign exchange market also. It's over in this class. I hope you understand students.